Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing part two of the Halloween Decorate with me. We are going to be in my foyer today. We're starting off with an undecorated, freshly cleaned foyer. And I am starting by hanging these floating candles that I got from Amazon. I have these linked on my Amazon store, but they come with a wand and the fishing wire, plus the little hooks that you need to hang them. Then moving on to my staircase, I just have some of this black creepy cloth and I'm kind of going to drape it over just where you can start seeing the stair railing and then I'm going to take this all the way down to the bottom. Just like in part one when I did my dining room, I am just going to show you the basics of how I'm decorating and then stay tuned for the end. I will show you a big reveal with some things that I also added in. Then I moved over to my mirror that's in my foyer. I made this mirror a few months ago on my channel and it's kind of like a peek through mirror that you can put pictures or whatever you'd like on the back of it. So I'm just changing out the pictures that I had in there. I cut down some scrapbook paper and then also printed off some Edgar Allan Poe themed pictures to put on the back side of this mirror. Then it was on to decorating the foyer table. I have some of these little milk glass vases that fit these little black taper candles perfectly. So I had four of these that I'm going to arrange and I'm just starting out arranging things. And then of course, I'm going to move stuff around as I go. Like I said in my dining room decorating video, I like to just kind of put things that I know I'm going to want on the shelf or on the table in this instance and then I will start adding things, moving things around, and taking things away. This brass Victorian boot used to be my grandmother's and I do keep this out usually year round, but I thought it would also be perfect for Halloween since it was kind of witchy and I just decided to add in a few little sticks from a tree in my yard. And for anyone wondering about my typo that I had on my Headless Horseman sign, I did fix it and it is now spelled correctly. I don't know why, but the bottom space on this table always gives me issues when decorating. I feel like it's the hardest part, but I did have this cute milk glass piece that had kind of fall leaves on it. So I'm adding that to the center and then adding in some plug-in lights. I used a little fall scenery art piece print that I had to kind of cover up that plug and then like I did before I'm just going to kind of add in things that I know I want down here and just play with them a little bit until I'm happy. One thing that was making me not so happy is the fact that I couldn't see my little round ghost painting that I did. So I grabbed some of this wall putty and I'm just going to stick it to the back of it and then I can hang this a little higher. Yeah. 
there's quite a bit of an awkward space beside my mirror where the stairs go down at an angle. Sometimes I put different things here, but for Halloween, I wanted to add some thrifted frames. And of course, I had to go in with some bats up the stairs. And I actually ended up getting these from Dollar Tree. They come in a few different sizes in the package. I have an art piece that leads up my stairs hanging on the wall and I wanted to change it out. I actually got this vintage Headless Horseman painting print from another creator on YouTube who has an Etsy store. I'll make sure to link her YouTube and her Etsy down in the description. I ended up just having this printed off in a 16 by 20 on a foam board piece and then just switched it out with this painting that I've had up for a while in one of my thrifted frames and then I just ended up putting some tape on the back to hold it in. I recently picked up this witch's broom with a little flying lessons by appointment only hanging from it at the thrift store on a half off day for a dollar. So I thought this would fit perfectly right above where we hang our coats and stuff and this little bench. As for the bench itself, I really didn't do too much to it because we do use this quite often. So I just layered a cozy blanket and the pumpkin pillow. For this little space beside my foyer table, I did want to do the viral little ghost, but I also didn't want to buy new stuff like the tomato cage that people use. So I just found some things around my house. This is actually a little kitchen tower thing that is my son's. And then I just grabbed a couple little balls out of his toys to make these. I especially love that I didn't actually have to buy anything to make these. And if you look around your house, I'm pretty sure you can usually find things to make whatever it is that you want to make. But I'm just using some masking tape, taping this ball on top of here really well. And then I'm just going to use some white pillowcases that I also already had lying around. I obviously didn't want to paint my son's soccer ball, so I am just kind of doubling up my pillowcases. That way you won't be able to see the soccer ball through the pillowcase. And to get rid of those corners on the pillowcase, I'm just kind of tucking those in. You can obviously use white sheets for this, but I also didn't want to have to cut down my white sheets or have a bunch at the foot of the ghost. So these pillowcases ended up fitting perfectly. For the eyes, I'm just using some velvet adhesive paper that I already had on hand. And I'm just going to cut one of the eyes and then I'll use that one to make the other eye. Now obviously he needed a little friend so this is actually a wreath stand that I made a few years ago using a Dollar Tree plunger handle and then a little Dollar Tree wood piece. So I grabbed this out of my attic and again I am just using one of my son's balls. To light these up instead of using string lights I'm actually just using a remote control LED light that I got from Amazon.